Today, we will talk about an interesting and important medical condition called polydactyly, a congenital anomaly where a baby is born with extra fingers or toes. This is a condition that has fascinated doctors, scientists, and even parents for centuries. Some families see it as a sign of uniqueness, while others worry about the possible health implications. In this video, we will explain in detail what polydactyly is, why it happens, how it is diagnosed, and the best ways to treat it. We will also share emotional insights for parents who are raising children with this condition. What is polydactyly? Polydactyly is derived from the Greek words poly, meaning many, and dactylos, meaning fingers or toes. It refers to the presence of one or more extra digits on the hands or feet. This condition can appear in different forms. Sometimes the extra finger is small, non-functional, and connected by only soft tissue. In other cases, the extra digit may be fully developed with bones, joints, and even tendons, making it appear almost like a normal finger. Types of polydactyly. Doctors classify polydactyly into three main types. One, preaxial polydactyly, where the extra digit forms on the thumb side of the hand or the big toe side of the foot. Two, postaxial polydactyly, where the extra finger appears on the little finger side of the hand or little toe side of the foot. Three, central polydactyly, where the extra digit appears between the normal fingers, though this is less common. Each type has its own implications for function and surgical treatment. Causes of polydactyly. Polydactyly is a congenital condition, which means it is present at birth. The causes can be genetic, environmental, or a combination of both. Genetic factors. In many cases, polydactyly runs in families. It is often inherited as an autosomal dominant trait, meaning that if one parent carries the gene, there is a 50% chance the baby will inherit it. Treatment depends on the type and severity of polydactyly. Simple polydactyly, soft tissue only. If the extra digit is small and made only of soft tissue, doctors may remove it with a simple procedure under local anesthesia. Sometimes even a surgical clip at the base is enough for the digit to fall off naturally. Complex polydactyly with bone and joint if the digit has bone or is partially functional, surgery is performed under general anesthesia. The surgeon carefully reconstructs the hand or foot to ensure both function and cosmetic appearance. Surgical considerations. Surgery is usually recommended during early childhood, often between six months to two years of age, so the child can grow up with normal hand or foot function. Surgeons aim to remove the extra digit, reconstruct tendons and ligaments, Minimize scar and preserve hand strength and flexibility. Post-operative care after surgery, proper care is essential for healing and function. The child's hand or foot may be placed in a cast or splint. Physical therapy may be advised to improve movement. Parents are guided on wound care, pain management, and follow-up visits. Polydactyly is a common congenital condition where babies are born with extra fingers or toes. While it can raise concerns among parents, the condition is highly treatable with surgery and medical care. With early diagnosis and treatment, children can grow up with normal hand and foot function, and parents can rest assured that their child will lead a healthy, active, and fulfilling life. So if your baby is born with an extra finger or toe, remember, this is not something to fear. With modern medicine and proper guidance, your child can enjoy the same opportunities as any other child.